Hi guys, this is Allison Pryor and I do acrylic painting lessons for the beginner. And I also teach in step by step in real time so you can follow along with me. And they are very simple and easy to follow techniques. So if you want to get started in painting with acrylics, you can look at all my videos that I teach landscapes and seascapes. And then you can learn and ask questions and request any new paintings that you'd like me to teach you if you want me to teach you how to paint a cat or a landscape or seascape just let me know in the comments below so let's get started on painting now the first thing we want to do is get a brush and our brush you can use is a, a flat bristle brush or a sable brush and uh, they can be quarter of an inch or size 10 whatever suits your preference so the first thing we're going to do is put some light up here where we had the light come in so let's put some white with a tiny bit of blue because it'll be too white on our canvas so let's mix up see that's too blue so let's go and add lots of white and get a nice white white uh, sun coming in there that will give the illusion of underwater that the sun is coming through so just do a nice really light blue and we can lighten that up as as it dries a little bit so we don't need a big because this my canvas is 11 by 14 if you use a 16 by 20 you can make a a bigger light source good now you go a little darker blue and add a tiny bit of red to it just to so it won't be pure blue and then you can come now we're going to work when I'm wet so we're going to come underneath there and blend those two lines together so let's just put that on there good put that on there now while that's still wet clean your brush Wipe off your brush on some tissue and so that there's nothing on it, no paint. And then blend those two lines together here. Let's make it nice and soft. There we go. See how nice and soft that is? See how that blends really nice? Good. Make sure you're going to see it all. Okay, there we go. So blend those two lines together. Same as we did in the other video for the... Uh, lovebirds all right so now i'm going to go back in with a bit of white again just pure white no blue at all and i'm going to put that back up here just to brighten it up there we go and you can come back down into your blue a little see how nice that blends then go back into your blue look how pretty that is now this time we're going to go a little darker blue so pure blue, a teeny bit of red. I like adding red to take away the total blue look. There we go, underneath what you already did. This is going to be so pretty. Let's go all over here. And then we're going to get, we want to blend those two lines together again. So we'll do the same thing again. Let's clean our brush really good. And then we're going to, with our really clean brush, blend those two lines together. See? And that way you don't lose your lighter colors. You're just blending the two lines together. Looks good. Now, when you're happy with that, we'll get some more blue. And as we come down, we're going to get darker and darker. So add a little bit more red and a tiny bit of black. If you don't like making your own black, I'm sorry, if you don't, ma if you don't like making black, put uh, blue and brown together and you'll get black. I'll show you that in a little while. So we're going to get darker. So I, got a, I mixed a bit of red and a bit of black with my blue. We're going to get, see how nice and dark that is now? As we go down into the water, we are going to get a little darker and darker. 
get deeper into the ocean. So now we are going to clean our brush again. And we're going to bring those two lines together. It's coming along really well. Very nice. So blend those lines together so that nice blend. Now we want to blend it even more. Let's take pure white, clean brush, don't have any color in it whatsoever, clean it off really good, and some white, and start up here in the corner, up here, make sure everything is wet, and then come back down into all those colors. Don't go back up, just keep going down, going down, going down, okay? Up and down. There we go, that's nice. Good. So just go back over those. If you have to go back over those lines a couple of times, you can do that. You can do white and just go back in again. And the more you do this, the softer it looks. It looks nice and natural. They all the lines go together, and give a nice natural blend. Colors. Clean your brush again. If you have to do it a couple of times. That's okay. As long as your brush is nice and clean, you won't lose your colors. And you keep going down. Don't go back up. Just keep going down. Go down, 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 down. Nice. Good. Good, good. Now we're going to get darker and darker as we come down. And I'm going to put a line somewhere around here where I want the horizon line, we'll call it. And we'll just make a line, say here. Give it a little bit of a curve. And that way we'll use this bottom part for, for the, the bottom of the ocean. Now I'm going to show you how to make a bit of black so that you really dark blue because some people don't like to use black, but you can use black as long as you add other colors to it. So you just take some blue and some brown, burnt umber and ultramarine blue makes a really nice black. You can even add a little bit of red to it. Okay, so that's a nice dark color. So let's go underneath what we already did. Cause see how dark that is, isn't that nice? Good. And we'll make that nice and dark. Good. Now you know how to mix your own black. I'll show you some color mixing now. I already showed you some color mixing in other videos, but I'll go more in depth and try to simplify it for you. Color mixing and color theory, it's a, it's a lot to it, but you know, if you practice and, and study it, you certainly get beautiful paintings. Now, as you can see, that's streaky and everything, so we're going to clean that up. What we're going to do here is, we're going to clean our brush really good and then no paint at all and we're going to come down here and blend those two lines together and blend this. And what we're going to do now, we're going to take, let's try, let's try taking some white, just white on a very clean brush so you don't lose this part up here, okay? Go back, see how that gets brighter and brighter up here but yet you don't lose your blues. Now, as long as all this is wet, you can do it this way. Make sure it's always wet. And what you can do is, there we go, I'll show you what you can do in a second. So now you come down in here and you blend all that together. That looks pretty. Very nice. Because these are acrylic paints it, and you're working and uh, a time period that may they may dry out on you as long as you mist them with a little misting bottle okay just a little, you might have one of those bottles that you had some perfume in or some spray body spray or something and you just mist keep misting it if you have to but not to the point where it's soaking wet but just as long as it's misted so now we're getting to the bottom we want a nice and dark blue again even darker again almost pure so I'm going to go with some blue, 
a little bit of brown to darken it up, a bit of red and a little bit of black. I just want to get it nice and dark, but I'm not going to use just pure black, okay? So come down underneath here. Good. And put those two together. That's it. Put those two together. All the way down. And as you come down, add a little more darker colors, maybe black if, if you can get, you know, black to your blue, just so that you can get it really nice dark under here. So let's go, let's go. Under here is getting really dark now, so that's wonderful. Good. And then we're going to blend all that together and then we get that much done. And we'll start working on other things start working on our ocean floor so let's get this all done looks good it's a nice dark dark blue underneath here so it's really dark takes us some distance now let's clean our brush again clean your brush really really good no paint whatsoever and go back over those lines to blend those colors good now, mist, keep it nice and moist, mist, and one, <clears throat> excuse me, and one more time, let's go with the white on our brush, just white, nice and clean brush, now that it's nice and misted, we have it misted up, we can go back over this again now, swing up and around. And around. See when you do that how it gives us some light. Isn't that pretty? Gives you some like ocean movement, a little bit of ocean movement. Good. Keep going up and up and up. We don't want to lose that feeling of depth. Back and forth, back and forth. Swing up, swing up, swing up. Yes, keep that feeling going there. Good. Sure, blends nice. And now we're done with our water. That is so pretty, isn't it? Okay. 